As you recall in the previous training video, we learned to go to five different screens to find out which resources are over allocated. And each screen had its own different use for finding and getting the details about the over allocation. My favorite is the resource usage sheet here because it's the most detailed, I think, of the five, wherein, of course, I can find out which resource is over allocated in the color red, but then over to the right I can get more details like how many hours they're being overworked and if I want I can actually change those hours which I'll show you in just a minute. In any case you can look at the example here for the two days that Rider 1's being overworked because he's working on two tasks at once for those two days, the add images and proofread. Now at a very simplistic level you can either go ahead and assign another resource to this task or that one to get Rider 1 off of it so he's not overworked or you can go ahead and delay one of these tasks, push it out until he's available to go ahead and work on it. Or you can use Project's Resource Leveling feature. Now, this feature is going to delay or split the task to avoid conflict for over allocated resources and, as a result, obviously can delay your project's finish date. So let's go ahead and take a note of our project's finish date before we go ahead and use this feature by coming up here, clicking on the Project tab, going to Properties, click on Project Information. There we go. October the 25th, K. Okay. Let's click Cancel. And then mm, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and save a copy of project before you go ahead and level it. Even though you get the clear leveling feature, I mean, if you have the Undo button available, that works. But if you click Save, as you recall, the Undo button is no longer available. So you do get the option to clear the leveling after you level it without using the Undo feature. But keep in mind, if you level more than one resource, Project will only give you the option to clear the most recent level. Okay, So that's why it's probably a good idea to save a copy of it. In any case, I'm not going to save a copy, but I recommend that you do. Okay, So to go ahead and to level this resource, so he can go ahead and work on all the tasks that he's being overworked on, then select the resource, come up here, click on the Resource tab, go to the Level group, and click on Level Resource. You can see that it's going by selected resources. We've got Rider 1. You can verify it by scrolling down. Rider 1 has been selected. Then go ahead and click Level Now and... Okay, what happened? Ooh, I don't know. I guess we could go over here and right-click on the view bar and go to the Gantt chart and see if we can notice anything in the chart. I mean, that's one way. And the obvious thing that I can see is that this task wasn't split. We've got the first day here that I believe subject matter expert is going to be working on that first day. And then it's going to split and wait until Rider 1 is available. Let me go ahead and click off so we can get rid of these pop-ups. Because if you notice on the second task, Rider 1 can't work on that one and then the next one at the same time. So it splits it out until Rider 1 is available or finished with this task to go ahead and complete that one. Now, if you want to be sure that subject matter expert is going to be working the uh, hours or the first day here, we can go back to the resource usage view, right click, go to resource usage, go ahead and scroll down to, there we go, subject matter expert, who's been assigned to review with SME, the task. Let's come up here, click on the task tab, because you want to come over to the editing group and click on scroll to the task, so I don't have to scroll over, it just takes me right to it. And what day? is he working his eight hours on? His only eight hours that he's been assigned to work on the task. Come up here, hover over M, well, September the 27th. So when he's done, he's out of there. And then the task gets pushed out, delayed until obviously Rider 1 is available according to the uh, resource leveling here that's been done to the Rider 1 resource. So I can go ahead and right click, go back to the Gantt chart, and if I scroll down, there we go, the uh, project's end date used to be October the 25th, it's been pushed out by two days. Let's see, that gets a bit tough to figure out. Um, what's been delayed, what's been pushed out? Well, split's kind of easy, but actually, if you want to go ahead and find out what project looked like before it was leveled, and then what it looks like after, well, we can see what it looks like after, but be able to view it in the same view, then come over here and right-click and change views and go to more views and go to the leveling Gantt. When you're talking about leveling and you want to find the before and after, go ahead and select that, double click on it, and if it doesn't pull up over here on the right hand side, the chart, then just come up here and right click on the time scale, go to zoom, select entire project, and it will, when you click OK, bring it all over. Okay. Now notice how you have two different color bars. If you hover over the brown, it tells you that, well let me click off and then hover over it again, that this is the pre-level task. 
So all the Browns are what the task was before project leveled the task, if there were any to level, and then what it was after. So you can see that the brown matches the blue means that nothing happened until we get down to uh, this one right here. So the brown here is just, I think, just one day. If I can hover over it, I mean, it's so tiny. Let me click and then hover over again. There we go. So there was its original start and finish date the same day, one day duration. I mean, it says two, but I think it's crossing over to this one right here because after it's been leveled in the blue bar, you can see it's a two day duration. So the subject matter expert's going to work here and then writer one's going to go ahead and finish it off there. And then we can come down here and go, oh, look at this one right here. Before it was leveled, this task used to start on October the 11th and went to the 13th, two days. After it was leveled, now it got bumped out to October the 13th and then finishes on Friday the 15th. So if you notice, let me well click off again. You've got that little line before the blue. If you can, let's see, hover over it, it gives you a pop-up that says delay. And actually, you don't have to come over here to see the delay. You can look over here in the entry table in the leveling delay column. And you can see, well, for here, it was leveled by 1.21 E days, or elapsed days. So it delayed the task here, so we can get Rider 1 happy, not over allocated. Okay. So Project figured it out, and we're trying to figure out how Project worked it. In which case, I'm more of the type of person that instead of having to do the resource leveling project work on it and then me to figure out what project's doing it's just easier for me to go ahead and do it myself and to work with it as I go along and not go uh, you know what I didn't like what uh, project did here to level that one to split and push that one out I need to bring that in and let's just reassign the resource uh, writer one on this task to another task and you see you get more flexibility if you don't use the resource leveling feature but I've heard from some that actually resource leveling works great for them so if it works great for you by all means go ahead and use it for me on my projects no not so much so I go ahead and I avoid the resource leveling feature and then of course you can scroll down here and see that it finished two days later from the 25th to the 27th and then also over here you can still read that we've got another task that's over allocated in fact, if you come over here to the same task, over in the Gantt chart, hover over the blue bar. Oh, let me do it again. You can see at the bottom of that pop-up, it says Potential Scheduling Problem. Right-click to see options. I mean, you can right-click there and fix in Task Inspector or ignore it, like we did in an earlier training video, but over in the Indicator column, right-click on the red dude. Fix or ignore. Okay. So... If I want to go ahead and undo the leveling here because I don't like it, you can hit undo because it's still available, but if I go ahead and click save, oh, I can't undo it. I'm toast. No, just go ahead and go to the resource tab here, go to the level group and click on clear leveling. Do you want to go ahead and clear the entire project or the selected task? Well, Rider 1 has been assigned to a couple of tasks here, so I'm just going to go ahead and select the entire project. And click OK, and then you can see we're back to where we started. There are no pre leveled bars that are off from these other blue bars, what happens after it's been leveled, and when I undo it, you can actually see the changes that it goes back to or reverts back to by the uh, blue or highlighted cells over in the entry table here. Okay, so these are the cells that it had to change in order to go back to the way project was before we leveled it out, and well, you can see over here that now Rider 1 is over allocated on those tasks that he's working on at the same time as another task. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.